Hey everybody, it's your boy Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 3 of Donkey Kong Country 2. I know it's been like a month since I've uploaded. I apologize, but we're coming back strong. Starting off Barrel Bayou. Gotta get down in the swamp. So yeah, I'm gonna be changing the way this channel works out. So like the titles will be different. The gameplay and stuff will still be similar. Well, actually it'll be the exact same as I always play. Probably just more refined, you know. Better like upload quality and stuff like that. More editing done and, and shenanigans. But yeah, so. We are going through Creme Quay, the swampy world of Donkey Kong Country 2. Can you. Are you just gonna keep. You know what, dude? You're a dick. Die, dicky. Now, the SNES version, if you guys ever played on emulator, this part doesn't work out well because the barrels are broken and wow. Talk about easy to get gold feather. I also went back and got the two gold feathers that we missed. If my lives and stuff are off, that's because of the fact that, uh, you know, I the game didn't save when that no commentary episode came up, so I was contemplating whether or not to actually rec holy Jesus. record that episode or not, but, like, re-record it. Jeez, I got flabbergasted by getting launched like that. Scared the tits out of me. God, man. So we've been going through a Chinook, and well, for the next two weeks, we're literally having like 40 degree, 40 degree, 14 degree weather. Yeah, it's gonna be 40 degrees in summer. And yes, for those who know, I'm Canadian, so 40 degrees Celsius would be like crazy hot in Fahrenheit. It'd be like what? Like one, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Something nuts. Anyways, yeah, our first bonus of the stage, done. Don't actually know how many bonuses there are here, but I think there's only two. At least I think there's only two. That, that could be a mistake. Yeah, I don't have the rest of the letters, so I'm not going to bother with the N. At least you just hold the direction that they're not facing. So, since, they're, since that one was pointing left, you just, you don't want to point left, you want to point right. And this guy... Oh, he managed to get those bananas behind him, apparently. Oh. The infinite blast barrel. Yeah, this world's gonna be big on crazy shenanigans. Oh, there's the second bonus. Perfect. You gotta be quick, because he'll throw a bee in front of it. Or a zinger. For those who want to be more particular with their whole Donkey Kong Country enemy lore. The zingers up until Donkey Kong Country 3, when they became buzzers. What? Screw this! I'm a rebel. I'm not going straight down. Though I missed some bananas. And three one up. So that worked out beautifully. Forty lives. Oh man, that buzzing is just so beautiful. Man, all the poor bees, they're all disappearing. And no one cares about them. So we got another ship level known as Glimmer's Galleon. So let's do this. So funny thing is. Don't go into that bonus yet. Because guess what? There's a bunch of stuff out here. Including the DK coin, actually. And I believe to get to the other one, like the one with those coins, we actually have to go over here. I don't know why I was going to go down. Just go up right here, and yeah. Get some more bananas and two more banana coins. We're getting rich up in here. Man, I wish I was rich. I wouldn't have any debt then. Uh, so saddening, the story of life. Yeah, kids, don't don't grow up too fast. You guys will not appreciate growing up that fast. Uh-uh, I'm 24, and oh my lord, guys, it's hell. <laughs> like, it, it's not always bad for people, just sometimes life gets rough, and it doesn't throw you a bone, trust me. Learn your life lessons from your favorite gamer. Also, check out Classic Prodigy. He's a great friend of mine on YouTube and produces some really good content. If you guys want to check out some old games, remember to check him out. And here's our animal buddy, Glimmer! He gives us a glimmer of hope in this dark, murky water level. It's actually darker in the SNES version. I don't know why, but when games get ported to uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, P even PS Vita, PSP, stuff like that, they're a lot lighter than they are for consoles. I don't know, consoles have like a magic power to make games dark or something, and I, I really don't know. It's kind of crazy, actually. 
like to know the whole deal behind that, and we got a lot of Lockjaws in here. It's more Lockjaw in here than Lockjaw's Locker. Oh, I forgot the K. We can't spell Kong. We'll spell on. And no, I'm not talking about a bong that you get high from. Oh, my lord. Ooh, there's a bonus over there. Also, I know there's another bonus that I always forget here. There are three bonuses, I believe. Oh, man. Nugget. Wait. Didn't... Wasn't the bonus over here? Oh, wait, no, it's up there. Okay, I think... Oh, wait, no, that's the bonus I always miss. Maybe there is only two. Pretty sure that's the bonus. And no, you don't get Engar here. Ah, shit. We'll try and keep the swearing to a minimum. There we go. With this, we can now swim through all these sharis and not get shurikened in the booty. I don't know why he's there. Oh, screw that letter. Actually, where's the gold feather? Probably gold feathers around here somewhere. Wait a minute. You know what? Oh, come on! Oh, there's a gold feather. At least getting hit up there, you know, showed me the light. God, these darn shuris shoot off like crazy shurikens. They're actually scarier than real shurikens, man. Now, wait, here's the bonus. And he doesn't even come in, he just sits outside like, Yo, guys, I'll just wait here. I don't want to, you know, creep up in your business. But I'll magically end up in the bonus anyway, because guess what? Here I am. Wow, that was easier than I was anticipating. I feel like this world is lacking in the bonus. I was gonna say, I feel like this world is lacking in the bonus stages, but for some reason, I ran right into a fish. Alright, let's try this again. I got a few Facebook messages to answer after this. Uh, my girlfriend and my friend Malachi. Yep. Gotta still communicate with people in real life. Okay, time for a lag fest 9000 as we swim through all these enemies. Not hitting a single one. Not racking up any lives like we could in, in uh, Super Mario World. No! See? I, re I refrain from saying sh the S word. You know, Shuri. Shuri, you don't want to hurt me. Haha. <laughs> I'm a master de puns. Nah, my girlfriend doesn't think I'm funny. But if you guys do, then so be it. My stupid sense of humor right? entertains somebody at least. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh god. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, apparently he just left. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. I believe there's like some goodies up here if you want them. Yeah, it's a coin. Um, I actually don't think you can hit this. I think you're supposed to use your partner, but I'm not entirely sure. And there we go, we got 100% on that level as well. Ah, uh, we don't need to go to the Kong College. Nor do we need to go to Funky right now. But we do need to go to Crockhead Clamber. Now this is kind of like a, a level similar to that of, um, Hothead Hop in Crocodile Cauldron. You know, level one of that world. Okay, now we gotta be very, very careful with how we deal with this. If we lose our partner, we screw up, but I think we got it. After doing this for... After doing it for years, you think you'd be able to do it, but no. Uh... Okay, Lord Almighty. Okay, now we made it. Thank heavens. But anyways, I will be right back. I just have to take Evan Aaron. See you guys in a second. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back now with the game, and hopefully I didn't miss anything. Like, I came back, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Like, I literally left this on pause for a while. Like, after I was done what I had to do... I was literally just like, uh, yeah, I'll postpone this recording session. Literally my first video in years, and, <laughs> years, in days, or months, 
and I literally just stopped recording midway through. Luckily though, it being chopped in two makes it easy to edit. You know, my missing... Or like, <laughs> I mean, oh my god, not edit the missing. I mean, edit the stuff that needs to be cut out, you know? I also got a severe case of bedhead for some reason. It's like... Almost 7. P.M. Not morning. 7 p.m. My hair is just all wonky. Gotta go buy McDonald's tonight for the GF and I. No, not the GIF and I, the GF and I. Whoa. I literally thought I had, like, hit the beat of the zinger, so I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. I gotta, like, turn back. Nope. This little frog on the lily pad getting it on. Getting it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. You know, this is not Austin Powers, though I really do love that movie, and I kind of wish that the rumors of the fourth one were actually true, but I really feel like Austin Powers 4 was just a lie. It was a lie. It was a conspiracy invented by the government, and really? Can you? Thank you. I don't know what that was, but that was just bad. How are you? At least getting the gold feather and... This world seems to not be overly difficult. Pretty sure there's supposed to be like a bonus that shot down, but or shot us down, but eh, it didn't look like it. So yeah, with that, that's technically level three done. I believe we got 100%. Yeah, that was a really easy level. I always feel like I miss a bonus, but I don't. So wow, we got everything. Now we got rattle battle. Uh, pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back just to the intro of this level. Is that supposed to be like Captain K. Rule in the back? Because it literally looks like a frog with a crown. <laughs> Prince Froggy from Froggy's Prince Froggy's Fort in Yoshi's Island. This is the only frog with a crown I believe in. I'm not a huge fan of the frog prince, you know. Wait, what? I'm like, did I miss the feather up there or something? It was just the... It was just a banana bunch, not the gold feather at all. Okay, I believe there's actually something under here. I'm pretty sure, like, if we go over here... There's something, but for some reason we fell off the ledge, and yeah, that did not go well. But, luckily for us, we don't actually have to backtrack. We can literally just go in here. And get this bonus. Well, I guess technically it's kind of backtracking because we have to, like, do the level over. Well, a chunk of the level over. I'd say, what, about a... Th Wait, is there something down here? Okay, I thought maybe the gold feather would be down there. Because you know how, like, in the very first bonus that we ever seen like this, there was, like, coins? You never know. Gold feathers could be in bonuses. Leave it up to game developers to make the game sneaky. And we go... So yeah, I hope you guys are back to watching Nostalgia Scott. Uh, you guys can expect Sly 2 to come out next month. Like I said, throughout the course of the year, we'll be doing all four. So every three months, we'll have one, you know? Three, six, nine, twelve, you know? Four videos. Well, four videos, four games. I was, uh, you know, just getting caught up in the fact that I could have died there. Poor you. That must have been Diddy that died. Alright, so I need to get rid of the zinger. And we need to jump over! Okay, I'm thinking we can't go in there. I really have this, like, odd suspicion now that we can't go in there. Which is funny, because normally I know where and when I can't get into something in this game. Man. My gaming abilities have hindered me useless. It's like, you're so used to that Call of Duty crap on your other channel, dude, that you've lost the true ways of gaming. Mm, probably. Oops. Like, he occasionally hits you and sometimes doesn't. Drink. Oh, this is one of those ones where you just fall down here. Never mind. You can actually see the bonus in this game. In the uh, SNES version, you cannot see that bonus. Oh, it's a reference to another level in this world. Yeah, there's actually technically no more swamp levels. Just to let you know. 
Like, there are levels that are green and kind of resemble a swamp, or at least swamp water. But wait, how is that water moving? Krem is a swamp, which is like a, like a lake type thing, you know? No, this is the one that we need to go under. There we go, there's the DK. So, like, how is that water moving? You know what, there could be a gold feather up there. So, let's see. Anything? Anything here at all? No, there's literally nothing. So I'm... Oh god, the green... There's the feather, never mind. Another level we're getting the, uh... The gold feather's joke. I think literally all levels other than Glimmer's Galleon literally has a really easy to get feather. At least to find. Glimmer's Galleon wasn't hard to get, it was just, you know, you needed to s stay to the upper part of the level to actually see it. And I jump right through those barrels. And there we go. Come on, I want to get it, like, underneath. Ah! Still goes up there, goddammit. In the original game, you actually had to do the high jump up there. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh god, they come back? I don't remember you guys ever coming back. Apparently they don't fall off cliffs like every other enemy. Boom, boom. Oh man, so many cannons. This should be called Cannon's Claim. Wait, that name's already taken. What?! Oh, come on, the recovery time screwed us over. And you can't do this level as a Kong, by the way. Wait, I didn't know what he was up there for. He was just a coin. Doy. Okay, can you green lizard butts please, you know, stop with the whole murdering me thing? Hey, at least we got the end this time. Remember, we don't need any bonuses, because once you clear a bonus, you've got it for good. So literally, when you backtrack, all you have to do is, you know, complete what you missed, or grab what you missed, and you can just teleport out. So luckily, the game's like that. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Like, triple KO there. It's like a triple kill. Doot style. How you? Oh wow, we just happened to be Dixie. Right, Darn it, I missed it. I was off by a few seconds. God tootin'. Sorry for that sucking sound. There was air in my bottle. There was air in my bottle. Anyways. Second last level, Slime Climb. I feel like this level, this world has more than five levels. So we had the three at the beginning, plus we had... No. But yeah, it has six levels. It has six and not five. That's interesting to know. Goodbye, click clack. Oh man, that was the DK barrel as well. Whoa. I did not... Oh. Oh! Yikes, run! I didn't even jump on you, but I still picked you up. Ah. Ah. You actually? Thank you. Ah. I can't take the shortcut. Well, at least I can grab a Kong. Oh. Yeah. Not very fond of this level. Oh, come on, man. Really? Again with that? There we go, at least we'll take this. Now, the thing is, we have to go down here. So just keep going down, just keep going down, and there's the bonus. Like how we can still see the air in the background, like the clouds and stuff, even though it's like underwater. It's like, how does that work? How is there still a wind current while you're in the water? This bonus is kind of weird, like it doesn't really feel like it belongs. So cramped and lacking of space. There we go, now we'll use this to just cheese the level without actually having any cheese. I love cheese. Cheese is like what keeps the world going round. Sorry, click clack. Ah, God damn it! I heard that bee coming too. It's like buzz as he does, the does it he does, the does it he does, buzz the dee, the buzz it he do, the buzz it he does, the buzz it he woo. Okay, I don't know why I'm singing about bees. I've lost my mind. 
I am now part of the Bee Clan. Bee Clan! It's gonna, oh. Oh. Oh, come on! That water rose away a uh, uh, fast up. God, I'm having issues in levels that I normally don't have issues in. Eee. Okay, that was really weird. I swear this controller just likes to let like, go randomly. My girlfriend does have issues with it though when she plays on Xbox One, so... Yeah, I can see it being the controller. Woo! Nice one. Wait patiently, even though in this level you really don't get a lot of time for patience. Woo! The water though just shoots up rapidly in some areas. Love the music, you can hear it just go dun 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 in the background. Oh wait, here's the other bonus. The other bonus is literally just a uh, cannonball. And I've actually passed the water a lot faster than I normally do. So here we go, destroy them all. Probably a cannonball one, right? Because we took a cannon? Yeah. Well, technically speaking, it is. Even though you can use DK barrels and other shenanigans. Well, items. Not really sure. Why do I always say shenanigans? Ever since I discovered the word shenanigans, I'm like, gotta use it all the time. There, now we need this. We need to go down here. Here's the DK coin. I don't... Did we get the gold feather? I don't know if we did or not. If we didn't, I'll have to go back and get that some other time. So, that's not an issue. Do, 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 No, we didn't get it, so yeah, we'll have to go back for it. Hey, Swanky. Bramble Blast, the iconic music. Everyone loves this soundtrack. Though it's been overdone in Super Mario World ROM hacks, it's still a lovable track. Now I gotta remember where all the bonuses are here. Because the bonuses aren't that easy to find here. Hey, yeah, there's letter O. Okay, I'm supposed to go up there, so we'll try going down first. I have a feeling I have to go down this way. Yeah, there's nothing of importance down there, just some goodies. Well, that's good to know. Though, this is a very scary level, I'm not gonna lie. As much as people love these levels, they are terrifying in their own right. The fact that you can literally die on everything. Okay, I know there's a bonus around here now. Pretty sure there's a bonus here. Anything up here? No, we we're supposed to just go in this barrel. Yeah, it's down there. I think this is the one that I always miss, but ever since I figured out where it was as a kid, it, it hasn't really been that much of an issue. Oh, we just got a maze of these. Oh, okay. I see how it is. I just took the one wrong barrel. Gotta like how that wasn't actually that difficult. I like how it just like throws us up into the air like, hey, we're here. Oh yeah, this part. So just be careful. And there we go, we made it to the halfway barrel without too many issues. Well, I'm not going back for that letter N. If you're fast enough, there's a life. I'm not sure if it's there on the GBA version, though. Wow, we were lucky with the timing. Oh, hey, clamp on! The croc who wears a tampon. Oh, snap. Oh, I see what that's for. That's just a recovery. Okay, I want that barrel right. Oh, come on, man. Come on, can I have that one barrel? The bananas are an indicator of where you're supposed to go, though. Which is pretty awesome. Except for when they're not there, it's not very awesome. So, oh, there's the gold feather. 
I don't know what the gold feathers are though, like, I know they do, but I'm not entirely sure of what animal it is. Like, who just randomly has gold feathers in this game? There's no gold feathered animal in the Donkey Kong Country universe, especially not Donkey Kong Country 2. And this is how you get everything else. Literally, the bonus and the DK coin are via squawks. Yeah! DK coin, get! Banana bunches, get! Oh no! Evil Red Zinger, don't get that. I'll see you, like, need this thing of a bee to stay alive, then... No, don't, please don't grab that. It'll hurt your face, and it'll make you a very sad monkey. I'm a sad little monkey. The world's in Tormile, and all I am is playing video games. Man, what a good life. Even though my life actually isn't that good, it's, it's still not terrible. And there we go! Levels should be complete. 36 bonus coins, or creme coins, in this game. Oh man, it was just literally that end that we forgot. Bananas! Go, go, go! Let's go. She takes forever to put her guitar away in this, I'm not sure why. So anyways, let's go to the boss. Cudgel's Contest. This is Clubba's evil brother. Yo, Kong, I'ma smash you up real good. Yeah, the shockwaves will stun you, so just jump. Like, the shockwave itself can technically touch you as long as you're not on the ground when it happens. Well, even then, it's, it's, I don't know, it's very picky. This guy actually takes six hits to defeat, so he's literally one of the stronger bosses of the entire game. I believe other than, like, the final boss. Actually, maybe the boss that they added in is, like, a bonus boss in this game. Oh, I love the ripple effect. I don't think in the SNES version actually had the ripple. Goodbye, sir. You've really done it now, Kongers. So now he does this. So he still technically jumps three times, but it's very slow-mo. Oh, that was close. Frog, get out of here. This guy's gonna eat you. No, guys. Tis me, Frogger. I have my own series. I had a game for the Super for the Game Boy Advance. It was really bad. But you technically played it though and beat it before. I, I did. Technically my neighbor beat it for me the first time, but after that I had no issues. I was just too young to play a lot of games. Pokemon was what my, was my go-to game when I was a little kid. What? Diddy, turn around next time, dude. God damn it, controller. You really piss me off sometimes. And there he goes. Yes! Get. Hey, Cranky. This all seems too easy. I hope you aren't cheating. You have to keep moving. DK is depending on you. Off you go to Crazy Kremlin for a vacation. So, in the next episode, guys, we'll be starting off Crazy Kremlin. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.